to backyard scrapping here. Uh, what we're doing today is kind of a little experiment. I've got uh, a pound of these silver contacts. Looks like most of them are from circuit breakers. I've separated the ones that kind of look base metal-y and coppery to so the ones that look like they're silver plated. But what we're going to do is we are going to just go ahead and heat these up and take these little silver contacts off of them. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you do this outside. And I also have a fan blowing behind me to make any of the fumes go that way or go away from me. But in any case, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and I've already done a few here, but we're going to see what we get, how, many, how much weight we get in contacts off of a pound. And then we're going to refine that down and see how much actual pure silver we get out of one pound of these contacts. Even though I have a fan behind me, I mean, I kind of hold my breath when it starts smoking until it's done. Alrighty, well, we've made it down to the last one of our first half pound. So we're going to go ahead and take this one off. And then we're going to take them out of our water and get our silver plated ones out of our little bag over here and get started on those. But mainly I've been really curious to see. I mean you see these things on eBay all the time and they seem to be going for a pretty good price. Well. The curiosity got the better of me, and more or less, I just want to see if it's worth it. I mean, you know, you see them sometimes going, I mean, I've seen them go for a ridiculous amount. So I want to know if it's actually worth it to buy these on eBay. I see them sometimes $10, $20 a pound and actually finish out one pound of them and see exactly what's in them. Which I know things are going to vary. Different breakers and different contacts are going to have different amounts of silver. But I mean this is kind of going to give us an idea of if this is really worth doing or not. I mean I know if you get the material for free, you know, and you don't have to pay for it that it's definitely worth doing as a hobby but if you end up like a lot of people having to buy your material to process well you want to make sure that you're at least going to break even or close to breaking even or it's really just not worth even doing so we've done a half a pound so far or thereabouts they're almost a half a pound, I don't know exactly. I just kind of divided up the ones that were silver plated from the ones that weren't. <coughs> and it looked about 50-50. But in any case, this is our contacts from our first half. I don't have a scale out here, but when I'm done, I'm going to take them in and we'll weigh them all. But and those are just the contacts now off of the metal. Now there's still some solder on these and I don't know exactly what the purity of the contacts are. I've heard some people say 10%, some people say 90%, so I don't know. But we will find out because we are actually going to go all the way through the process with this in this video and to see exactly what we get out of this one pound of contacts. Alrighty, well I'm going to get started on these other ones, and we'll get back at you in a few. Okay, we are now about, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter of the way through 
doing these ones that I believe are silver plated. In other words, the, I'm taking the contacts off, but the metal that I'm actually taking the contact off of, I believe, is silver plated as well. So I'm just setting those aside and we'll do on the, work on those later, do something with them later on. Because they are tarnished and they give the appearance that they are definitely plated. I know, I believe, I checked a couple of them and they look like they're copper underneath. So I think they are just silver plated copper and then these contacts are soldered to them. So we're just going to continue to take these off. Several more to go. But I mean, it's pretty fast. It's not, it's a little tedious. You want to be careful when you're taking them off that you don't pinch that contact too hard and send it for a ride somewhere because it is red hot. And I mean, as you can see, I can go through them pretty quick here. Okay, so we've gotten down to our last four of the silver plated arms or holders, which it looks like they were about half. I think half of the arms were silver plated and half were just copper or base metal where the contacts were attached. But we're going to go ahead and get these last four off and then we will take them inside and weigh them and see what we got off of a pound. And then our next step is going to be refining them out and seeing just exactly how much silver we get in a pound of contacts so we can get an idea if we have to buy them what to pay for them. Because you got to remember, you got to take into consideration all this that we have to do plus the cost of our acids and everything else. I mean, even our propane that we're using to take this off. I mean, this all costs something. So we're going to try and kind of guesstimate what we get out of a pound of these. See if it's worth buying them, or if it is worth buying them, how much, you know, kind of to pay for them. And now granted, bus bars and other types of contacts, everything's going to be different, but most of these are looks like they're from circuit breakers so this will give us kind of an idea Side and throw these on the scale and see what we got. So that's our contacts from a pound of mostly looks like circuit breaker pieces. Now these are the ones that were brass or base metals that I could see were base metals. And then I've got make sure they're cooled off. were the ones that are metal. And then we've got about another half again this amount that are appear to be silver plated so we'll just hang on to those and not throw them in our copper or brass scrap and see what we get out of these. So there's our base metal copper. And then here is our silver plated ones. And I'm so I've been told, I don't know for sure, but I have been told that even some of the arms from circuit breakers, from some breakers, can actually be silver. 
So I don't know which ones they are, but I'll try and find out. All right, we're going to run inside, put all this stuff up, shut this down, and see how many contacts we got out of this. All righty, we're back inside now. And that is our little pile of mounts that I believe are silver plated, so we're going to keep those for another project. And then that's our little pile of our base metal mounts copper and brass and whatever. So we're just going to cut the copper off of those and throw the rest of those in our little scrap metal thing. And then there is our little thing of just the silver contacts. So we're going to turn this scale on and we're going to see what we ended up with. How many contacts we ended up with out of a pound. It looks to me like the little scale is reading 23.72 grams. So just a little more than three quarters of an ounce of contacts out of a pound of these what appear to be mostly circuit breaker contacts. So our next little adventure is going to be to go ahead and process these out and see exactly how much pure silver we got out of one pound of contacts. We'll get back at you when we're ready to start doing that. Alrighty, we're back outside now and I have taken my it's, it was almost 24 grams of contacts. I've put them in a 250 milliliter beaker with about 40 milliliters of distilled water. I've got them on our little burner. I don't have the burner on yet. And now we have about 40 milliliters of nitric acid which we are going to slowly add to this beaker because we're more than likely going to get some gas. So we will go ahead and do this now. A little at a time. Wait for a reaction. And almost instantly we get a reaction. The main trick with this is, is you don't want to put too much nitric at one time and end up with a boil over. But as you can see, we're getting a pretty fair reaction. So I'm going to let that work for a minute, and then I'm going to add a little bit more nitric to it, and we'll get back with you. Okay, at this point, we have added about half of our nitric acid, and we're just now starting to get a little bit of NOx gas forming on it. I can just start to see it. So we're going to let this go for a little while longer till it slows down, and then we'll add a little bit more nitric. Back at you in a bit. Alrighty, at this point we've added about 30 mils of our 40 mils of nitric acid. We're still having a pretty good reaction. Not a whole bunch of NOx gas, but every once in a while I'll see a little bit start to go. Still having a decent reaction, about another five or ten minutes or so I'll go ahead and add the rest of the nitric and then we'll just let this work until them little boogers are gone. We'll get back at you shortly. Alrighty, well I added the last ten mils of nitric so we're at forty mils of nitric and forty mils of distilled water. I'm not seeing a very big reaction. We still have a lot of material left in there. So I guess I'm going to have to add some more nitric acid and we'll just let this go and see what happens. Okay, it's been about another 20 minutes. Um, I had, went ahead and added another 10 mils of nitric above what I had in there. So I now have got about 50 mils of nitric in there and covered it and put it on the heat. And I am starting to see some, a little bit more reaction, but I'm starting to wonder if these 
contacts don't have a lot of tungsten in them. So I'm just going to go inside for a while, let this do its thing, come back out and check it in an hour or so and see where we're at. But we're finally starting to get a little bit of reaction again. So we'll just let it go and see what happens. We'll get back to you in about an hour, two hours, something like that. Alrighty, our reaction stopped. I don't know if you can see them out there on the table, but apparently these were tungsten alloy. So, the reaction stopped, and I did my double water with a fresh copper coil, and now you can see the silver coming off. So there was actually, I actually added more nitric acid because I th thought these would completely dissolve and they didn't. But I guess they turned into like a sponge and it did suck all the silver out of them. So we can see that right now. Probably maybe only 30 or 40 percent of the weight was actually silver. But we can actually see our silver dropping from them. Let me pause this for a second. I'll go out and get them and show you what was left. Well, you can see our coil drops doing pretty good. Looks like we're getting a lot more than I thought we were going to get. Because if you look at that, that's actually what was left in the bottom of the beaker after the reaction stopped. I put in about five more mils of nitric acid and nothing happened. And then I took a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of what I knew was silver and dropped it in and it reacted. So that tells me that whatever this metal is, or whatever these were plated onto, that it was a very heavy plating onto whatever this is, and I would presume it's tungsten. I don't know. But in any case, that's what's left. We are getting a fairly nice little drop out of this. I don't know if you can see all that, but we are getting a good little drop of silver, so there was definitely silver on them. But anyway, we'll let this continue to react and see what we end up with. So we'll get back at you after we rinse this stuff and see what we end up with. Alright, it's the next day. And as you can see, it is still raining, two days solid now. So I went ahead and pulled our coil from our copper, or our copper coil from our silver drop, from our contacts. There's what we ended up with. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of that off and go ahead and start rinsing this out. Maybe I might do a little acid wash on it just to make sure it's good and clean. And then we'll dry her up and see what we ended up with. So we'll get back to you when that process is done. Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick little shot. Um, I'm actually right now just rinsing this in hydrochloric acid just to make sure we get any contaminants out. And as you can see, it's a little greenish yellow, so there was a little bit of contamination in there. But we're going to go ahead and just let this soak out on some heat for a minute. Then we'll rinse her several times in boiling water. And then we'll dry her out and see what we ended up with. Okay, so our silver powder has been rinsed in hydrochloric acid. We did that, then we rinsed it about five times with boiling hot water. And now I've got it sitting on the hot plate to dry. Then we'll weigh this stuff up and see what we got out of our approximately 24 grams of contacts that we took off of one pound 
of look like breaker arms and a few other points. Alrighty, so we'll get back at you when this is dry and we're going to weigh and weigh in it up. See you in a bit. Okay, we are back. Our powder is just about dry. I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. And then I am just going to go ahead and melt it down. And then we'll take it inside and weigh it. So while I get ready to do that, I'll give you a quick peek at what I'm doing over here. These are some gold pins I've had going for a while. I'm just filtering them off. I'm going to put a little bit of fresh acid in there. There's another batch going over here. But that's for another day. In any case, we'll get back to you in just a few minutes. And we're going to just go ahead and get that in a melting dish and melt it down. And then we'll see what our total weight was. We'll get back at you in a couple. Alrighty, we're ready to go now. We're going to go ahead and put our dried silver powder in here. In our little silver crucible. Now this powder seems a little grayer than I'm used to. So, I don't know. I washed it in HCL and got pretty much everything out I thought, but maybe it's just because... I've had some grayer powders before, but this one is probably about the grayest. So, we're going to go ahead and get it in here. Okay, here we go. We're going to get our torch lit. Throw a little borax on this stuff and see what we end up with. start this real slow. Now normally silver powder isn't this fine either and this was really really fine powder. So you have to be careful not to blow it out of the crucible. But from the looks of this I don't think I'll be buying silver contacts. I think that um, if you get them for nothing, it's okay. At least not the ones from these circuit breakers. Not that I'm not going to save them up and save them from switches and whatever, as long as they're free. But I just don't think that it's going to be a very good yield for all the work that went into it, the nitric acid, and just the time. And I'm not really sure... that the silver dropped all that clean. But we'll see what we end up with anyway.
there she is. And throw that in the pickle pot and then we'll head on in and weigh it. Okay, here we are inside with our final results. We had one pound of circuit breaker arms with silver contacts on them. We removed all those, ended up with about 23 and 3 quarter grams of just contacts. We refined those down, and here's the final tally. We ended up with seven and a half grams of pure silver. So from that estimate I would say if you are getting your contact arms for free or your silver contacts for free, um, yeah it's okay to do it. If you're having to buy them or you're buying them on eBay and you're paying you know ten, fifteen, twenty dollars a pound, now granted there may be some on there that are worth that, but if there are these breakers like from contacts well here it is you went through the whole process with me so now you know alrighty I guess that's gonna tie it up for this project and we'll see you back when we make another video have a good one guys